Councillor Barry Longman representing the Mayor of Tweed Shire. Mr Jeff Provost MP, State Member for Tweed. Tweed Fire and Local Area Command. Pottsville Beach Sports Club. Pottsville Neighbourhood Centre. <coughs> Pottsville Men's Shed. Pottsville Beach Public School. St. Ambrose Catholic Primary School. Tweed Rural Fire Brigade. Tweed Coast South Lions Club.
when I was asked to speak at the Anzac Day service, I watched some documentaries about World War I and Australia's involvement in the conflict to provide us with more information. I was very surprised that Australia and New Zealand sent so many of our young men to fight in a war on the other side of the world. When I think about all the young men that, that had to leave the safety of their homes and their families to go and fight for our country, it makes me feel sad because lots of Australian men lost their lives. It also makes me feel grateful because they went off to make Australia a better place. They just thought that they were going for an adventure and going to see the world, just to realise that they were going to be in the middle of a violent war. Anzac Day is important to remember because many people died in World War I. On the 25th of April 1915, the soldiers in the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps landed on Gallipoli. During this time, over 8,000 Australian soldiers were killed fighting for our freedom. <coughs> Anzac, on Anzac Day, we remember the soldiers who fought in a war on our freedom. Anzac Day reminds me of those who did amazing things. Jack Simpson was one of these men. At Gallipoli, a number of donkeys were used to carry water and supplies, but a number were abandoned. Simpson got the idea of using one to carry the wounded to safety. He used several donkeys, but his favourite was Duffy. In a feat of bravery, Simpson and his donkey rescued hundreds of wounded soldiers while under enemy fire. Although he was killed at 22 years of age, he leaves a legacy for us all. He demonstrates to me what bravery is all about. At school, we make red poppies and lay these near our lone pine. The, the red poppies grew wild on European battlefields and at our school, we lay these in remembrance of those who lost their lives. We are lucky enough to have our own lone pine. The seed used came from a pine cone sent from a soldier in Gallipoli to his mother in 1915. It was a souvenir from the great battle for Lone Pine Hill. At services I have attended since beginning school, I stand and listen to the last post and reveille. This gives me time to think about what these men, some of them not much older than me, must have endured during their time away. Anzac biscuits, which I love to eat, when sent over to the men by their wives or mothers as a treat. The army biscuit, also known as Anzac wafer or Anzac tile, is essentially a long shelf life hard tack biscuit, eaten as a substance for bread. Unlike bread though, the biscuits are very, very hard. Some soldiers preferred to grind them up and eat as porridge. This showed me that they mustn't have had much to eat and looked forward to a parcel from home. Although the Gallipoli campaign failed in its military objectives, the Australian and New Zealand actions during the campaign left us all a powerful legacy. The creation of what became known as the Anzac legend became an important part of the identity of both nations, shaping the ways they viewed both their past and their future.